I had a ton of fun making few of my last videos and some of you have noticed. So, first of all, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you for those please don't leave me guys comments. If you're actually right here next to me, I would just want to hug you or if it's not too weird, I'll just buy you a beer or something. Comments from people that are not my friends or my family or friends of my friends that we told them to comment under my videos to boost the rankings on YouTube. They just mean the world to me. Of course, I appreciate when my mom comments under the video or tells me that the video is amazing, although she doesn't speak English and doesn't really understand what I'm saying. But this external validation is what fuels my creativity and wants me to create more and more and more. So once again, thank you. A lot of you have asked me what is my creative process, how do I create these videos and that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to walk you through the whole process and show you what stands behind creating something from basically nothing or just from an idea. Of course you can apply this process to your creative work but I strongly encourage you to develop your own process or fine tune this in order to suit your needs and most importantly to suit the creative part of your brain. The first stage of my process I think it's also the crucial one. It's where the creative magic happens and it's also the stage that I have a dedicated video for which you can watch in the link up there. This is super important. Just do nothing, have your time for creativity. To be honest, I don't know about you, but when I'm buried with work, I don't have creative thoughts coming from me because my mind is so busy. They always come to me when I'm doing nothing or yes, it's a cliche, but when I'm in the bathroom, there are a lot of ideas coming to me just before I wake up or after I go to bed, just before I fall asleep. Uh, sometimes ideas come to me when I'm talking to my friends. Why don't you do a video about getting the number of the receptionist? No. What about the video of getting her to sleep with you without getting her phone number? Really? But usually these are not very good ideas in the initial stage. During this stage, I also face the biggest obstacle, which is pretty much part of every human being, and that's laziness. By nature, we are quite lazy and our brains are quite good at figuring out ways not to do something. And that could be of help to creative thinking because you kind of generate the space for creative ideas to develop, but it's also a big negative and you have to be aware of this because there are like a ton, tons of explanations why you shouldn't do something and why you have something better to do right now and not focus on this amazing idea uh, that you have to, uh, in your head and or under the shower or anywhere else. And you just have to be aware of this. I'm always constantly fighting it. It's, it's a struggle sometimes. Sometimes, especially when I'm tired, I'm like, I don't want to do this. But when I push myself a little bit and when I go over the first hurdle of this laziness and with time and with practice, you get over it easy and uh, you kind of have the pleasure of creating. This is the stage where I reject most of my ideas because sometimes an idea sounds great in your mind like the one that I had for a video about periods but the period in guys not in girls and I thought that guys also have periods but without the blood and I thought that would be an amazing video and it will go viral. But when I start writing down things and I did some research and I did the research on myself actually for a couple of months uh, together with my girlfriend and I figure out there's no relationship between men and periods. It's yeah. So there was no video there and everybody when I told them about this video, they were looking at me like, are you serious? So this was a good benchmark that, okay, maybe I shouldn't do this. The good and the bad part at the same time is that when you have an idea, 
probably somebody out there already thought about it. And my goal is to always do my own twist, uh, put my perspective on the matter. Uh, quite often I find that some of the ideas that I have uh, for videos are not exactly well explained in other videos. Uh, and these are the videos basically that I try to create. There are other videos that I have ideas for, for example, like goals for 20 years old. What kind of goals should a 20 year old have? But I don't want to do this because there are so many videos out there and they're basically saying exactly the same thing. Um, and I didn't want to do this just because everybody else is doing it. And it's yet one of my first videos ever is on the 80-20 rule, which nobody has ever done. <laughs> I just want to create things that I would love doing for you and I think this shows um, and that's why some ideas that are too commercial or <laughs> it doesn't get more commercial than the Black Friday are not something that I would really want to do are also not in the list. Stage 3 is where I write absolutely everything down. Every single idea about a video that I have, about the title, about the things that I want to say, quite often I write down whole articles that, you know, I might not say exactly the same thing because I'm not reading it from the lens or whatever. I don't use a teleprompter. Maybe I should use a teleprompter. I kind of structure my thoughts so that once I start shooting, it kind of makes sense. And I also use this opportunity to validate the idea if it's a good one or, or a bad one. Um, I usually put everything on the cloud so that when I sit on my computer and have some working time, I can do this. Or if I'm on the go and something pops up in my head, I can also write it down and make sure that um, kind of spend enough time visualizing and writing down ideas for that specific topic that I've already chosen. Stage 4 is also where I've dropped quite a lot of videos. It's the time when I've written everything down and I revisit the video and I see that it's maybe not a great idea or I've changed my mind or something happened uh, or maybe the video will be quite difficult to pull off like this idea that i had about a video that what if life is a video game what if everything was like in super mario or some other um, game and uh, my idea was to go through the city run like crazy and ask important questions about life and uh, just make it super dynamic uh, and make people think about uh, what's stopping them from achieving things basically uh, but then I kind of felt like it would be too much and I didn't have that many ideas about the video and I wasn't like really crazy about it uh, so I dropped it but if this video gets like a hundred thousand views and maybe I get an editor that can help me out with the video or something else maybe I'll do it for you guys what do you think it's a good deal this is the stage where I steal a lot of ideas from other creators and I'm not talking about ideas about a video because at this moment I already know quite well what is the topic, what I want to say, how I want to say it and the things that I steal are how to present something, uh, how to prove the point to you guys visually and the best example I can give you was uh, from a video that we did in Prague and um, I stole this shot from a creator called Stefan, I think he's French. I'll link his channel down below. And he had this really creative shot of him moving forward and the crowd behind him moving backwards, which was kind of weird because visually, like he didn't ask all the people moving backwards while he was moving forward no actually they did it the other way around and that's how we shot it so i was moving backwards while the crowd was going their way and then in post we reversed the speed um, and then we got this effect that you're moving with the crowds we move with the crowds 
but uh, visually it kind of clicks that it, something is like it attracts your attention. Um, another shot from that video is when I'm jumping uh, through the wall and I also got this from a fellow creator uh, as an idea and you know these are the things that um, I try to do. I This is also quite helpful actually because other creators are much more advanced and uh, whatever field you're into it might not be video making um, steal from others the ideas put your own twists uh, and use them and this will actually make you a much much better creator in whatever field you you create the last stage of my creative process is planning I spent quite a lot of time planning for things like when I'm going to shoot, what other things I'm going to need, like uh, maybe a costume or a makeup artist or whatever else I have uh, in my ideas for a video. And this is crucial because at this stage, if I don't have time to actually shoot the video in peace and do the B-roll and then edit it and everything else, I'm not producing well. I, I, I've been in this and pressure is actually a big enemy of creativity and um, I just want to make sure that I have enough time for everything uh, because not everything always goes according to plan and then I would need to reshoot something or uh, change the script in the last moment and if, I, if I'm just having like an hour or two to do something it, yeah, it always turns out not to be a great video. Actually, uh, one of the videos that I did, like the best of my year video, which I didn't have to do any shooting for because I had all the materials already on my laptop for the last year. Um, but it was such a pain in the ass to edit this video. I wanted to throw my laptop several times on the way. Um, but I left enough time, so I had about two weeks to edit it because I knew I had to go through all this footage and it was just, it was just a mess. Uh, but at the end, I was quite satisfied with the result just because I left enough time uh, and I did good planning for that specific video. And I think this is also very, very crucial. So pretty much that's my full creative process, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any kind of questions about my process or anything else you want to ask me, I would be more than happy to answer in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.